what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below Let's get right into this spirit ancestors. Ooh, we, we got sadness surrounding a feminine energy here, okay? This is somebody that's conflicted within themselves. It's almost like somebody's like, damn, why can't I shake this feeling? Why can't I shake this sadness that I'm feeling? Um, it's because you've been hiding your feelings from somebody or you've been trying to keep back how you feel just to try to keep the peace here with take off your mask it's almost like spirit is saying that it's time to like let the world hear your voice you know because what i'm seeing here it's almost like okay you've been in your feelings about something you've been upset about something and it's getting to the point where it's fucking with your energy and it's like you're trying to keep the peace in a situation when really you want to speak your mind here is what I'm seeing. And spirit is like, speak your motherfucking mind. Stop holding this shit in. Stop trying to keep the peace and make everybody around you happy when inside you're over here crumbling and dying inside. No, fuck that. Like, let people see another side of you. You don't have to be sitting over here sad and depressed. It's almost like spirit really wants you to... To find that good energy within yourself, that powerful energy within yourself. Inner child, okay? There could be some traumatic child wounds that you've had to deal with, okay? And it's almost like you've had to teach yourself how to, how to like get along in this world or you didn't have a lot of parental guidance here. I feel like this kind of also has somebody feeling like they really don't have a lot of people, you know, they don't have a lot. So, and I'm just going to say, I got to be honest, I'm feeling like this energy here is like an energy that kind of has let people walk all over them and kind of like let people um, take advantage of them because of the things that have happened through childhood. You know, it's almost like abandonment issues or like just, you know, not very much parental guidance or whatever it is so somebody stepped in the world kind of naive didn't have the guidance that they needed you know that a parent should have given to send their child out into the world and it's almost like so somebody here attached themselves to some things that weren't good enough or good good for them or held on to things or you know out of fear of abandonment or um kind of let people just kind of take advantage of them without speaking their mind and letting it be known how they feel like no you're not going to take advantage of me no I don't give it you know because somebody here has this sense of sadness and this sense of loneliness surrounding them there's also this sense of pride okay I feel like there's a sense of pride where it's like you don't want people to see that they've hurt you you don't want people to know that they've let you down as much as they they have and that's why this sadness that's why it's being held in okay and it's almost like it needs to be let out these people need to feel you okay no bullshit because look at on this card half of it she's dying inside it's like a skull and this other half is so beautiful you know but it's like you have a lot of pride in yourself and a lot of pride in your energy and this could have stemmed from childhood too from feeling alone like okay if nobody else takes pride in myself i bet i do and it's almost like you you don't you want to speak your feelings not only to keep the peace here but because you don't want people to know how bad they've hurt you. You don't want them to see you in pain. Fuck that, you know? Victim consciousness, you could have a victim consciousness, you know, where it's like I've been through a lot of shit in my life. Why have I been through so much and this causes this sadness surrounding your energy, you know? You got to get out of that. We got to remember that all we can do is deal with the hand that we're dealt, right? And we got to push through and we got to make the best of it. And we got to remember that even though we've had a hard time and we've had a hard life, that God gave that to us to make us stronger. They chose us for this path because they know that we can we can get through it. It's going to make you better in the end. It's going to make you who you are. I've had a you know, I've never, I didn't have that great of a childhood either, but guess what? Everything that I went through, it made me be able to sit here and help other people 
because of experiences and trials and tribulations and going through it. You see what I'm saying? So don't ever look at the negatives as a bad thing. Always just kind of look at them as like a learning experience. A, a, you know, I just try to look at the positive in a negative situation. I just, I have to because it's like, damn, I'm going to make the best of this. Yeah, see, family and tribe. Rejection. I cannot make this shit up, y'all. So it's almost like somebody feels like the outcast, like the black sheep of their family. And they were rejected by their family and tribe. It's almost like somebody always made you feel like the outcast or like you weren't part of the family or you weren't good enough to be in the family or you just had really horrible parental guidance here. And this parental guidance made you feel re very rejected, okay? So now in like the future life and relationships, when somebody tries to make you feel rejected, you're not going to let them see that they motherfucking done hurt you. So you're going to just bottle it up and keep it inside, but then that sadness builds inside of you. So spirit is like, take off that mask, be you, speak your mind. Who gives a damn about these people that rejected in your past? They weren't motherfucking worthy of you. They weren't your true soul tribe. They weren't. They they were your family on this earth. They were the people that you were just bound to on this earth. This isn't your true soul people. Okay, fuck those people that rejected you. They were undeserving of your love. That was divine protection, divine intervention. These people don't deserve to be in your energy anyway. So take that rejection as protection. And that's protection from the divine. So there's definitely something that happened within the family situation that had you feeling like you weren't good enough or you weren't a part of it, okay? And it goes back to childhood. And I feel like, look, it's coming up again, that victim consciousness. I feel like that's where that victim consciousness comes from. It's like, damn, how you were rejected and never felt good enough for even your own family, you know? And then getting older, and as you grow into adulthood, that shit follows over. And you got to, once again, spirit saying, get out of that shit. Get out of that consciousness. Know that you're worthy of something greater than what you've been through, Okay. Let's see. It's like now people walk all over you because you don't want to lose people because people rejected you in your past. Like, nah, fuck them people. And fuck the people that are walking over you trying to take advantage of you now causing you this sadness. And that's from Tiff. Okay. Let's see. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Radical honesty. We have to believe in the facade while spirit come through, man. To believe in the facade is to suffocate in the armor of alienation, self-defeat, and self-denial. So you see how she's putting this armor on, but she's also taking off the mask, right? And it's like to believe in the facade that you're unworthy. To believe in the facade that you're unworthy, that you're not good enough, that people are going to leave you, that everybody, whatever it is, that's what's going to have you suffocating in this armor of being alienated, of self-defeat and self-denial, because you're way more powerful than you think. You're way more worthy than you you think. And spirit is coming through with this radical honesty to stop alienating yourself with these thoughts um, that come from this childhood and from these shitty ass family members that you were dealt. I get you. I understand. Okay. I, man, damn, we can't trade in our family, but you will, you know what? We can cut those motherfuckers off. All right. Damn. Mm -mm. I completely understand, man. Let's see, spirit. You know, this warrior woman, she has this shield on. Strength and vulnerability, okay? We have true power 
lies at the root of perceived weakness. Spirit come through. So that weakness that you perceive, that you see in yourself, is where your true power lies. Okay, where you feel like you're not good enough, or where you're not worthy, or these people made you feel like you weren't good enough, or you were the black sheep. That's actually where your power lies. Like I was saying, that's what's going to make you strong, and make you who you are, and make you this strong, vibrant, empress, emperor, king, queen, okay? Turn you into this powerful phoenix that nothing can touch and nothing can stop here. Your true power lies at the root of your perceived weakness, strength and vulnerability. All the places where you feel the most vulnerable are actually your most powerful spots. So stop looking at the negatives. Look at what popped out with it. We have moving forward. It says the first step is taken within our stillness, okay? So I know it's, you might be at a time of lag where you feel like you haven't moved forward. Where things aren't quite going your way, okay? But Spirit wants you to keep moving forward. Keep pushing forward. And, you know, sometimes it's good to walk, turn your back to shit that does not value you or serve you or serve your higher purpose and keep moving forward and walking away from it. Is it going to be a long journey? Yeah. Will it be hard and kind of tedious? Yeah. Look at how that sun is beaming down, but it's leaning towards this happiness, this joy, Let's get a message from the ancestors for the collective on this situation right here. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Oceana, take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation. And you need to trust your gut. And lovingly assert yourself. Because I feel like there's somebody here that's quite hard on themselves. Because of how hard their life has been. So you're kind of very hard on yourself. Spirit is saying trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. Okay. You know the truth in this situation. And it's time to take action. All right. Archangel Gabriel. You have an important life purpose involving communication. Please don't allow your insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. So Archangel is wrapped, Gabriel is wrapping her arms around you. And she is saying you have such an important life purpose that everything that you went through is leading up to this important life purpose that you have that involves communication. Okay, so this could be talking to people, helping healing people, listening to what they have went through, you know, talking about life, life experiences, all that type of thing, right? And Spirit is saying, please don't let these insecurities, oh, it almost fell, from the past, okay, hold you back. Archangel Gabriel is watching you, is helping you, is leading you along the way. And whenever you start to feel insecure and you start to look down, continue to move forward and lovingly assert yourself, okay? Because we can all get down. We all get in that slump. We all feel down. But Spirit wants you to start speaking your truth. Cutting off toxic negative people. Stop letting the past and how people have made you, your family feel. That rejection that you felt lead into this adult life and lead into your relationships. Because you're meant for so much more. You have an important life purpose. So spirit wants you to keep moving forward here. Okay? All right, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.